And today we're updating you on some guests who have overcome the unimaginable. And in that last segment, we introduced you to Shannon, who was dealing with a medical issue with her daughter. And Shannon discovered a new therapy that turned Grace's life around. Take a look at this. Then you all of a sudden, you see in the research, as you're looking, there's something that's out there, mm, a little over here. Mm -hmm. A lot of doctors don't buy it, but this might be my last chance, correct? That is correct. And it was? It was hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And, I, you know, when you say that to doctors, especially now we're starting to find out that this also has some ramifications for a lot of other illnesses. Yes. You find out about it? It's very expensive? Very. You had to raise the money on your own? Raise the money. Um, family members sold everything they have. Communities came together to help us get the... And Grace was how old at this point? When we started hyperbaric therapy, Grace was three years old. She weighed approximately 15 pounds, between 12 and 15 pounds at age three. She was still she was blind, feeding tubes, seizures. Um, and most importantly, she, she didn't know who I was. And again, when she starts it? Blind, feeding tube, inability seizures. to eat seizures, inability to even really move or control any of her yeah, muscles. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't sit up. She didn't have that control. She didn't play like a normal three-year-old. After the tenth treatment, what happened to your daughter? She was there. She looked at me instead of... Not only did she look at you, but she saw you. She saw me. This is a child who has been called blind by every doctor that's seen her. Ten treatments... That doctor's told this woman she's crazy for even attempting to do. Now you got a daughter that can see. Mm -hmm. The feeding tube is removed. Yes. She's starting to move her arms and limbs and muscles. Yes. And actually tracking your voice. Absolutely. Absolutely. The hyperbarics brought her back to us. It brought her. We just to saw a little piece of tape of her, I guess, after she started this process, what, after 20, she started crawling? Yes, she started to, you know, we've done hyperbarics now for three years, but she started to wake up and she started to grasp things. And this is when she first started to crawl. And I, and I, and back then I remember, if that's all I get, I'm happy. You know, because she's crawling and she, she has her feeding tube removed and she can have some chances of normal life. I didn't really know what was going to happen in the future at this point still. She's a very happy child. The only thing different in Grace's life is that, you know, every morning, you know, we get up and we go into the chamber. We get her ready for school and, and it's, it's difficult. Okay, Gracie. Oh. The simple things in life, having Grace pick up, just even pick up a banana. I'm like the happiest mother in the world that my daughter can pick up a little piece of banana and put it in her mouth. Those things are like huge to me. Let's go to school. Let's go to school. Are you ready? She walks to school with her sister. She leads a normal life of a first grader, even though she still has some handicaps. This is what we do. <laughs> Every day when Grace gets off the school bus, we come to Wisconsin Hyperbarics and uh, this is the treatment room that Grace goes to every day, five days a week. She gets in one of these chambers. Let's go get your hood on. So then this is what we have to go through every day. We have a special hood that Grace puts on um, and she's getting the 100% oxygen delivered to her. So that's what they do. They, they measure and so it fits her particularly. This is her own very own hood. Are you ready to get in? She loves the chamber. It's like a second home door, so. Up you go. Yeah. 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 We're all done, that's right. Say bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, see you later. Bye guys, see you tomorrow. I feel good because she used to not be able to do so many things and now she can do all these wonderful things that she can never do before. And this is an incredible thing because I never thought that this would ever happen. Happy birthday. This was Grace's first birthday party with friends. So this is a really, really cool thing. Developmentally.
Grace is still a little bit behind, yes. right? However, you're seeing improvements even in that area, are you not? And she couldn't speak. Right, and now as she is talking, she's mimicking her sister and she's engaging. Her teachers see catch up every single day. We see some improvement every day. We see something new in Grace. So I go back to the thought, had you never, ever, ever taken this chance, what could life be right now? If I had never started hyperbaric therapy, I have 100% know that Grace would be an angel in heaven. Well, here's the update. Now, since that show, Shannon says remarkable changes have occurred. You need to take a look at this. Since the show, Grace's progress has been incredible. At the time that we were on Montel, Grace was just learning how to walk. And now Grace is walking upstairs on her own. Cognitively, it's amazing. When I walk into the room, Grace comes up to me and gives me a hug, and that's just something I never thought that we would get, and it's really cool. Living with a child with a special needs is one of the greatest joys of my life, and I would never change that for the world. Montel, all you have to do is really look at my daughter and see what the change is made because of you letting me air my story, knowing that people actually watch the show and that Grace empowered them to make change in their life. It's the greatest gift that I can have. Thank you, Montel, very much for choosing our story. We'll take a little break when we come back. A young woman who touched all of our hearts will be back right after this.